Dancing for Science. Once a week, pensioners come to the University of Magdeburg for dance lessons. Some are over 80 years old and really put their heart and soul into it. They know that exercise keeps them fit in old age. And movement isn't just good for the body, but also for the mind. Physical activity raises the level of oxygen in the brain. In principle, all types of exercise help to improve the supply to the brain and thus have a positive effect on mental abilities. So how does exercise influence the brain? For 18 months, one group of 50 senior citizens has been dancing for science, while another has been pursuing endurance sports. The particular challenge with dancing is that you have to orient yourself in space and learn new steps each lesson. In terms of coordination, the movements are highly demanding because you're constantly having to create combinations of arm, head, torso and leg movements. You also have to reel off several elements one after another in your head. So the ability to retain the information also gets a lot of training. Indeed, the dancers improved both their alertness and memory function, scoring better grades than the group that pursued endurance sports. With the help of magnetic resonance imaging, the scientists were able to make visible exactly where in the brain changes resulting from regular dance lessons take place. The results showed that above all, those areas responsible for learning and information retention, and for the speed of information processing, increased in volume. So, dancing can increase mental fitness, but only if the training is regular. We compared the magnetic resonance images, and we found that neurogenesis, brain building, drops off if the intensity of training decreases. So if you want new cells to form in your brain, you have to be active at least twice a week. Dann sollte man mindestens zweimal in der Woche auch aktiv sein.